Alright, hi everybody. Happy Wednesday. Um, yeah, so what we're doing today is we're looking at how we can mathematically apply Bernoulli's equation to different situations. Um, so I was going to start off today and I was going to like make a whole situation about, um, I don't even think, like Seinfeld isn't even my time, but I kind of like, I, I watched it in college with one of my friends before I went to eat. Um, so I've seen a lot of Seinfeld. It's, it's a wonderful show, but there's this episode where like, the the landlord Kramer and Jerry their landlord like replaces the shower head with like a low pressure shower head and then uh, Kramer buys like a black market shower head that has like insane pressure um yeah so he like buys this the like the the shower head out of like the back of some guy's van and <laughs> has this uh wild uh <laughs> it's it's an illegal it's like for elephants. It's really stupid, but uh, <laughs> I was gonna make a, a like a lab question about this, but um, I didn't know how the internal mechanism of shower heads worked, so I just kind of wanted to make today simple. That's funny. <laughs> what a good show! I think Seinfeld's all on Hulu, so if you uh, if you get the chance, honestly, during this break, it's a it's a good show. Curb Your Enthusiasm is good too. I think I like Curb a little bit better, but oh well. Um, but yeah, so what we're doing today is I just kind of want to quickly go over some objectives, a quick review, and then I just have five practice questions. They're in a Google form, but I just kind of want to go through them in videos too. So you just kind of have this key instantly. You can either follow along, or if you just want to go for the Google form, go for it. Um, but either way, this is good practice. So what we're doing today is um, College Board kind of has these objectives, these learning objectives, and everything with Bernoulli's equation is very math-based. So it's very like, hey, you can do these calculations. Um, so like make calculations related to a moving fluid, make calculations related to a moving fluid and the relationship between force and pressure, um, make calculations related to a moving fluid and use the continuity equation, and then just kind of be like, hey, Bernoulli's equation is just conservation of energy. So these are really our main objectives. Um, so that's why I'm kind of making this a very mathematically based thing. So when we see Bernoulli's equation in AP Physics 2, it's going to be very math based, which is kind of different from everything else. But as long as we know that it's really just us looking at a conservation of energy situation, then we're good to go. So Bernoulli's equation is this conservation of energy for flowing fluids. And really what we do is we define a before situation. So maybe before the pipe changed or the height changed or the speed changed or the, the area of the pipe, we define before, and then we look at after, and we say, okay, what was the pressure before? What height was it at before? How fast was it going before? What pressure is it at after? What height is it at after? And what's its speed after? And we know that these have to kind of shift around uh, so that everything can be conserved. So yeah, Bernoulli's equation is really nice because we're used to doing conservation of energy. And that's really all I got in terms of review. Um, and then a lot of the review is just going to kind of fall out from me making keys for these videos. But uh, this is the last time you will see me for today. The rest of us kind of go through in OneNote. Um, or actually, I'll read the questions. But yeah, so this is it for this one. It's kind of the intro.